So at this point, you've uh, created your logo at home, and now you're just going to see how to save it so that we can uh, get it back here in Mapledale and print it out in color. So here's just a sample logo that I've created. I'm going to go up to the export button, which is a picture of a disk, and click it. Then down below, I'm going to choose download. Got a little drop down menu, ignore all this stuff and click on the green download below. And this file has now been downloaded. Once you're at this point, you're going to go up to File at the top and Save As. And however you do that on your computer is fine. I'm just going to save it as a desktop here. I'll call it Pizza One. Okay, now I've, I have it saved. The best thing to do with it from this point is if you have access to Google, you're going to go ahead and go there. Okay, now we're going to look at Drive. And what I basically just want you to do is upload it to Google Drive. So, Upload. This is the Upload button right here, this little arrow that points upward. And then click on Files. And it should drop down all of your files that you have on your computer at home. I'm going to find Pizza 1. There it is, Pizza 1. Double click on it and it is now uploading. Google Drive will also give you the um, choice to share it. Let's see? Share. And if you click on share, I'll do it again. Didn't work the first time. Share. You can share it directly with me. Matt is my first name. Matt.Honigman at Mapledale. Okay? I am done with my logo. Once you share this with me, that's it. I can get it. I get an email that says that you sent it to me, which is awesome because then I can print it out on the color printer at Mapledale. All right, good luck with your logo.